when you're dealing with suicide bombers, the only way you can stop them is to try for a headshot. Metropolitan police officers have shot a man inside Stockwell Underground Station, and the man was pronounced dead at the scene. That happened at approximately 10 o'clock this morning. This operation is targeted against criminals. It is not targeted against any community or any section of the community. Some eyewitnesses have described him as a man of, of Asian appearance. Can you describe the man that you saw? I, I saw an Asian guy. He, he looks Pakistani. He had a baseball cap on and, and a sort of a, a quite a thick padded coat. Most unusual sort of coat for this this type of uh, weather. It's, it's actually very warm and uh, perhaps he, he might have had something concealed beneath this sort of thick coat. I witnessed him in a bloody cover. He, he ran on onto the train. He was hotly pursued by three plainclothes police officers. One of them was wielding a black handgun. He half tripped as he ran into the carriage and they, they, sh they shot him five times. So I saw the gun being fired five times into the, into the guy. Do you think uh, that killed him? Yeah, he's dead, man. He's dead. There's no way. He's, seriously, he's dead. So what did you think it was going on? I just put two and two together, really. I, I just felt that he'd been, he'd been maybe asked to stop and um, he tried to make a getaway from the police. And... Um, and he was shot through this action. I witnessed oh. in a bloody cover. The shooting began around 10 o'clock. Let's bring you now more arrived at the station. What do you know about a man being shot? So who jumped over the ticket barrier. If you discovered that officers under your command or press officers under your command had in fact been trying to spin the story by planting this information, what would you do about it? Well, we don't do spin. That's exactly the one thing the Metropolitan Police Service does not do. Cover, cover up. As I understand the situation, the man was challenged and refused to obey police instructions. Cover, cover, cover up. I think the Metropolitan Police Service and its sister services are doing a magnificent job. Jan de Menezes was not a terrorist. He was simply a young man from Brazil, living and working in London. Friends describe him as easygoing, happy, talkative. He'd been in Britain for three years, spoke good English. He enjoyed his work as an electrician. They can see no reason why he would have been considered a suspect, why police would have pursued him. Asian, Asian, Asian appearance. It's vital for the public to have 100% confidence in what the police is saying. Inaccurate information about the death is not corrected. Like the suggestion that John Charles had vaulted the ticket barrier. He was shot eight times, not five as originally thought. Seven bullets in the head, one in the shoulder. They opened fire with deadly intent. Outside Downing Street, another man was spotted with a rucksack. He was forced to the ground at gunpoint and ordered to take the bag off his back. Later he was discovered to have no connection with the bombing. So what exactly are the rules of engagement for Britain's armed officers? In general, they open fire as a last resort, the aim being to disable a suspect. But under new guidelines covering suicide bombers, they've been told to shoot to kill. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News. We're living in unique times of unique evil, at war with an enemy of unspeakable brutality.